I'll show you the difference of the repros when we we'll grab a real cute little figure and a repro. And you gotta watch if you ever buy these things. This is the real one. Let me see it. The anything that's silk, if it's not sewed on, it's probably not original. You can tell by the heads they're a little different. Smaller head. This is a 2000. And this is kind of bring it out of the way yeah. just a little bit. Kind of oh. shine on. There you go. Most people don't know, and they'll and they still say this will say 2005 on it. This will say 76. But the bikes and the Energizer winders say 1976 because they still use the same mold. Really? Yeah. But they're they're new. They're new. You gotta watch that. They're misleading us. Yeah, a lot of people they think they got a mint. Yeah, and then they get uh, severely disappointed. Uh, these seem to be in very good shape. They don't even look like they've been walked around in. Really. Yeah, no, we don't. They're, they might. You're not gonna wear them, Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, they, yeah. Very nice, very nice. And what do you think these uh, market value of these are? Probably one hundred and thirty, maybe. About one hundred and thirty. That ain't shabby. Not too shabby. Awesome. How'd you come by these? A guy. A stunt guy, I can't remember his name, out in Dallas, was selling some of his collection out, and I bought a few things off of him. You happened to snag them, huh? Yeah. Hoffman collectors love these. They might even have it. Very cool. Evil Knievel and Matt Hoffman. It's got friends. a sticker with his signature on it? Yes. And they, Matt Hoffman and Evil Knievel went in and got these two bikes. The 98 and the 99. The Wimble bike and the Evil Knievel bike. That must have been very uh, nice for Matt Hoffman. I'm sure he oh, yeah. idolized Evil Knievel. Yeah, he was a pretty good. Matt Hoffman did a lot of tricks. And Evil oh, Knievel yeah. was his idol for sure. So here's a signature. That was a printed signature that yeah, just came on the is. sticker? Yeah. 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 That's look, looking real good. Yeah, yeah. And as usual, you kept it in very good shape. Yeah. How okay. long have you had this? Yeah, uh, two or three years. Two or three years. I've got two of them. And, uh,. Just like we've asked before, what do you think this is going for? Oh, uh, this is 150 probably, 175. There we go, not too shabby again. Very nice. You can get more if you try to eBay, but I don't eBay my stuff. I just how, I keep it. How often do you have people uh, who make offers on some of your pieces? Oh, all the time. If I post a picture, they'll, they'll people ask are always you know, uh, they want to buy it. Instantly wanting to buy it, huh? Mm -hmm. And you're like, nothing doing. Yeah, I like to have it. <laughs> this is a... Oh, I mean, oh, look at that. This is probably the fifth issue of the Evil Knievel bikes. There are box sets from the 70s. This is very clean, kind of personalized from somebody I got it off of. The... For children five and up. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is the original box from 1970 something, right? Yeah, this is 70s box. Fifth yeah. edition. They're still 70s. There's variations of them, but very good condition. This is almost. Mint condition for its age. Original decals, winder. Yeah, we can go in here so we can really see good. This one's really good display. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Uh, his outfit is still nice it's and white and yeah. clean. This is probably the fifth edition bike. Fourth or fifth. Yeah. They all take the same gyro. Is this the uh, original yeah, Energizer for the piece? Yeah, it's the same one that goes with it. And uh, what, uh, pray tell, is this going for? It's, this one right here bring probably 300 You can a lot of times get on eBay and piece, the, piece them out and put your own together, but the box alone goes for probably between 40 to 60 bucks for an empty box. These are probably about 30 to 40 the bikes 50, 60, depending on the condition. This is called the Energizer or Winder that comes with them. You can buy them separate. This is a separate package. This is, yeah, these are kind of rare because you don't see just this alone by itself. Yeah. And this is pretty much the standard uh, winder, red winder. Yeah. Yellow what winder. makes the bike run, right? Yeah. Uh, it says right there for use with all Evil Knievel stunt cycles, trail bikes. Uh, choppers, Formula Dragsters, Canyon Sky Cycle, uh, Stunt, and Crash Cars. Everything. It runs everything. And uh, you can pick these up. Uh, if you can find them individually, you can pick them up for what? 
probably now they're probably 130, 140. Really? And it, I've only seen probably two in the last three or four years on eBay. If you go on eBay, you know, I've never seen one in. Holy smoly. Yeah, in about eight years, I've only seen maybe three. Okay. Maybe. And I've got two of them. Sweet. <laughs> oh, wow. And nice. I bought two of them. He's going to corner the market. <laughs> it's called the CB van, not the scramble van, but the CB van. And the difference between the two is? This actually has a recording of Evil Knievel in it. Got oh. a battery in it. Here, Evil will talk to all his good buddies. <laughs> 10 yeah. 4, good buddy. There you go. That's what they call a gold door, huh? Gold door, yeah. And it has a button push for the sound inside of there. Good. And uh, what'd you get for this, sir? Ugh, it's been so long, I don't know what I gave for it. But these, what, what do you think it'd go for? Oh, this is easy. Two, two hundred, two, between two and three hundred. With the box and all that. Yeah, this is good condition. This well, is, then the bike, it don't come with the bike, but the bike sits on the back. Like this. The oh, yeah, yeah. That's when you buy your pieces and you have the bike on the back. There you go. That's pretty cool. It has a side door, suicide door. And basically you've uh, positioned the ramp thusly. And yeah, you take he all jumps, this off. He jumps the van itself. Just like that. Yep, you got it. And, uh, that's how it goes. Just like so. Yeah, cool. Yeah, there you go. Kickstand. Huh? Yeah, that's how it works that's right, right there. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Oh, okay. This yeah, is called the Sidewinder. Near, only very few made of these. He's doing a Superman pose on yeah, there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, figure's not the best. But yeah. I can't remember how many made. I think we had a thousand of those. Oh yeah. We grill. These go for about. This is a grill piece. Yeah. This is. Yeah. I can't remember how many they made. Not very. I think a thousand. Wow. Do you just have the one, or do you have multiple? I've got one in the box, and this is my loose one. But the box is hard to get out with. Yeah. Yeah. It's stacked on the other. So box. that mainly just stays in the box, and yeah. hasn't seen the light of day for a while, huh? Right. But they're a rare piece. They're probably worth. I'm saying eight to thousand. That's with the box. That's with the box. Seal and then this right here is probably worth four hundred bucks. Okay, that's still, that's still pretty good. Yeah, that's yeah. still very They're good. They're aftermarket decals, but you're not gonna they find are. the yeah, you're not gonna find the original ones. For these. You got more than one of these? Yeah, I got like four boxes. Four of these, eh? Yeah, that's my loose okay. What are these going for? Yeah, they're two or three hundred dollars in a box. Nice. And explain the functionality of it. He revs that just like the standard one, but uh -huh. he has flint. You take these off, put flint in there, and they spark. Makes it look like he's kind of like a rocking, like a cigarette lighter type yeah, action, and it just spark. Yeah, it just caught our yeah. eye immediately. That's, I, I love that. So is this in, in, in any, any way whatsoever associated with the uh, Evil Knievel, or is this just a same uh, stunt bike? It's made by Ideal. Right. It's, okay. And it's so it's, it's the same as a stunt. Kind of just a, a different piece bike, that I mean. they make. Yeah, it's between Team America and Evil Pete and Evil. It's the blue bike with the mag wheels. Team America featuring Captain America. Yeah, it comes. It's a good combo. Yeah, yes, it comes it with is. a comic book and stuff. Oh, did it? Nice. Yeah. There you go. You can read the little synopsis there on the back real quick. You can pause the video if you want to read it all. Nice graphics on the box. So what are we looking at here, Craig? Uh. Probably about four to five hundred. Four to five hundred. There's one right now for seven hundred, which no one that's too much. But. Holy moly! Is that is that sealed? Sealed. Or sealed? Okay. This is how it looks before you take it all apart. Yeah, this is actually an evil Knievel decal. You see the difference in the wheels? Yes. It has a mag. Yeah. Yeah, that's the decal that go on it. I knew it was in there somewhere because this was big. See, there's the ones for a shield, one that goes on his back, I think. I don't see the A for it. Yeah, I do. A for his helmet right there. Hey, look at this. <laughs> He's bringing out the Team America comics. Yeah, I got the whole set. Stan Lee presents the origin of Team America. What do you think these would be worth? Uh, you know what? Just for like one. I'm going to be real honest with you. I got no bloody idea. I bought a whole bunch of them because I like them. Uh, you know what, though? I'll research it. I'll check it out tonight and see if I can come up with the... You're going to get one. You can have one. I'm going to give you one. Whoa! Oh, all oh, right. What are they all repos here? Repro I mean, uh, duplicates? No, this, these two. These are all the same here. I bought... I got... These are all the same here. That's Very why nice. I'm giving you... Oh, wow. This is my set. 
the whole set of guns. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, look at that. He's got, got one with Iron Man in it. Yeah. This Very is, nice. I just bought these. I got a good deal on all these. They're the same, but I bought it. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very good. much. But these are the ones I I got the whole series, I believe. I don't know how you tell, but I'm pretty sure. Well, number uh, 10, 11, 12. You got 9. Where's the number on this one? That's what I'm not sure. Yeah, this one happened. This is number one. This is number one. Your first issue. issue. Okay. Number issue two. One. Number two. Here, hold that for me, man. Uh, I don't do comics really, but I did, I'm not sure how three, they. Three. Anything stand on them is, four, to me is cool. I five. I'm pretty sure I got 12, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Now I don't know if it was that's I think that's all there was on those. So then you've got the oh. entire thing. Well, that, so uh, yep. that's it from uh, Evil Knievel Land today, I think. See you guys later. We have fun. We should have another video soon. I could say soon. Yeah, we will be at uh, Rashad's place next. He is, his uh, apartment looks like you've just walked into a toy store. <laughs> yeah. We've had a lot of fun at Craig's house today. We uh, want to thank him for letting us invade his home and look at his collection. It was, uh, it was an honor and it was a lot of fun. And it was uh, unbelievable. Yeah. The volume of uh, Evil Can Evil collectibles that he has is incredible. See y'all later next time. <laughs> like we said, check us out next time. We'll be at Rashad's place looking at his toy store that he lives in. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> so, be good. Yeah, Excelsior. Excelsior, yes. <laughs> Double D's. <laughs> <laughs> Go Rashad. We said clean on earlier. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's that's a a yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to have like a Klingon come up and say something to Klingon. Yeah. <laughs> the pizza's here. The pizza's here. <laughs> <laughs>